Hello, and welcome to the video tutorial on domain management in the Tigron engine. This tutorial is intended for domain administrators, the users managing the other users within a domain, as well as their projects. Domain management has everything to do with managing users and their access, with the projects in a domain, their sizes, amounts, and owners, and the rights attributed to your domain in total. To start, log in with your user account. All the tools for domain management can be found in the Options menu. Four screens will be relevant for domain management. First, My License, where details on the license of the domain will be displayed. Users, where a list of all users in the domain will be displayed. Projects, where a list of all projects in the domain will be displayed. And Active Sessions, the list of sessions currently running in your domain. To start, we will be looking at creating and managing users. In the Users menu, a list of all users in your domain will be available. You can select any user and see their details. Their first name, last name, phone number, and access rights. Each of these details can be edited as well. For example, the access level of a user can be increased or decreased. The list will automatically be updated and the changes go effect for, into effect for the user immediately. For example, the access level of a user can be adjusted so that they have more or fewer access rights. The list will automatically be updated and the changes will go into effect for the user immediately. It is possible to add a new user by selecting Add User. Here, the name of the new user can be entered. This name must be a valid email address. This email address will be used to send the user their password. When a new user has been added, it is immediately selected and the remainder of their details can be entered. If the user does not have their first and last name entered by the domain administrator, they will be prompted to enter them when they first log in. The same for their phone number. The phone number is optional. When all settings for the user have been set, it is possible to send them an, a password reset. Upon doing so, an email will be sent to them with their temporary password. This will allow them to log in to the Tigon engine. If access for a user is to be temporarily suspended, the checkbox Account Active can be used. By default, this box is checked, allowing a user access. When it is unchecked, the user will no longer be able to log in to the Tigon engine. Instead, they will receive a notification to contact their domain administrator. If a user is to be permanently removed from the list of users in this domain, you can select the Delete icon to the right of their name. You will be prompted to confirm that you really want to delete the user. And upon confirming, the user is removed from the list of users in your domain. Next, it is possible to administrate the projects within a domain. All projects of all users in your domain are visible in this list. Their names, their sizes, who owns them, whether or not they are a template. Currently, there are two projects in this domain, owned by Roberto at Tigron.com and George at Tigron.com. Depending on the settings of a project, access to these projects may be restricted by their owners. As domain administrator, it is your responsibility to manage any and all projects for the domain in total. For example, if another user requires access to Water Challenge, it is possible to change their, the ownership of the project so that the other user may edit it and administrate it. To do so, select a different user from the drop-down menu. For example, if we want to make Project 5 available to a different user, we can select a different owner from the drop-down menu. Here we can assign it to ourselves, so that currently we are the owner of the same project. The changes go into effect immediately. In some cases, you may want to change settings on a project which is currently running. In that case, you will receive a message that the session is still active and that it must first be closed. Under normal circumstances, the user currently active in that session can be asked to be closed the session. However, if the user is unreachable, 
or otherwise unavailable to close the session. As domain administrator, you can also administrate the active sessions running in your domain. In the menu Active Sessions, you'll be able to see a list of all sessions currently running in your domain. The Water Challenge project is currently active, even though there are no users currently in the project. If we are certain that we want to close this session, we can select the X at the uh, Water Challenge entry. You will be prompted to confirm that you want to terminate this session. Note that upon doing so, the session is closed immediately and will not be saved. Now, in the project list, we are able to change ownership of the Water Challenge project. It is also possible here to change the names of certain projects. For example, the name Project 5 is a nondescript name for a project. We can change the name by selecting the Edit icon to the right of the Project 5 entry. And we will be prompted to enter a new name. The name of the project will be changed immediately. It is also possible as domain administrator to delete projects from the domain. For this, the delete icon to the, to the right of a project's entry can be used. You will be prompted to confirm this decision. The project will then be removed from the project's list and will no longer be available to the users. If you make a mistake in deleting a project, it is possible to recover a project within two weeks. At the bottom of the screen, select the trash bin and you will see a list of all projects that have been deleted from the domain. You will see when they will finally be deleted. And if necessary, you will be able to restore them. To restore a project, select their untrash icon to the right of their entry. You will be prompted to confirm this decision. And upon confirming, it will begin a process of restoration. After 24 hours, the project will be available to the domain again. Lastly, in the screen, it is also possible to see how many new projects have been loaded in. This information can be useful in determining why a limit for a domain's license has been reached. For each license, there is a set number of new projects that can be loaded in. This overview will allow you to see how many projects have been loaded in and when. To see a complete overview of how your domain is doing for your license, the My License screen offers information. For example, it displays the current license type for this domain, the expiry date, the main administrative contact for the domain, the amount of new projects created, the amount of projects currently saved, and the amount of area currently saved. When the limits of a license for a domain have been reached, users will be unable to load in new projects or save new projects. As domain administrator, it is your responsibility to monitor the usage of your license for your domain. If you are the domain administrator and you are also the licensee contact for this domain, you will also have the ability to upgrade your license. To do so, you can select Request Upgrade from this screen. You will be informed of the consequences of such an upgrade. An upgrade can be used instantly, but an invoice or contract will be sent later on by Tigron. When you confirm, your license will be updated immediately. This is all the basic information required to successfully perform the duties of a domain administrator in the Tigron engine. If you have any more questions about this topic, please consult our wiki at support at